Hello all, um, welcome to our session again today. Uh, the warm up today is going to be done by Mr Ward um, and he's a young gazelle and so uh, that will be fun for you. So have fun doing that and I'll see you back in a second. Face me, cheerio. Come here. Okay, we're going to do a Tabata style warm up. So we're going to do eight exercises of 20 seconds each, with 10 seconds of light jogging in between. Our first exercise is going to be knees up. My time. Go. Try and get your knees at least to your waist. If you can get high, do that. Don't lean forwards, use your core, lean back if you can. Next exercise can be feet up behind. And go. Try and get your heels all the way to your butt. And light jogging. Next exercise is going to be lunges, jumping lunges. If you can't do jumping lunges, just do lunges. Go. Get your knee all the way to the floor, just above. Don't hit your knee on the floor though. And stop. Light jogging. Next exercise would be push-ups. Try and do as many proper push-ups as you can. After that, just do knee push-ups. Keep going, and stop. Light jogging. Next exercise will be sit-ups. Okay, try not to use your momentum to fling your body up. The more still your hands are, the harder the sit-up is. And stop, like jogging. Next exercise will be burpees. Okay, go. And light jogging. Okay, next exercise is front rising kicks. Remember, it's a warm up. So try and stretch as much as you can. Don't overdo it. Go. Try to get your legs straight and jog in the spot. Okay, final exercise, star jumps. And go. Last 10 seconds, push. And light jogging. Well done. We're going to do some stretches before moving on to the main part of the lesson. Okay, so everyone, take your knee outwards, both sides. Change that to an out crescent kick. Get your breath back. Okay. Reach up, breathe in, and breathe out. 
Let yourself sink down, keep your legs straight. Relax your head into the motion. And back up. Now take your legs wide. Reach up. Reach down to the floor. Take your legs wider, as wide as you can. And hold that there. If you can go on your knees, on your elbows, you can. And everyone back up. That's me. Trigger. Me. Back to you, Mom. Okay, so hopefully you're not too dead after that. Grab yourself a drink. Um, make sure you stay hydrated, but not too much. Okay, we'll just do a little bit of um, stretching off after that. So just circling off the arms a little bit. And backwards. Okay, and forwards and back. Nice big hug. Okay, and up and down. Just loosening off the shoulders. Excellent. Okay, just take your legs wide. Okay, keep your legs straight like we discussed before. Take a deep breath in, stretch up. Reach down to the center. Okay, down towards the floor as much as you can. Keeping those legs straight. Okay. Good. Keeping the legs straight, just walk your hands around towards the left side. Hold it there for a few seconds. And round to the other side. Okay, make sure the legs are straight. Keep the legs straight back to the centre. Okay, so this time bending the left leg, keeping the right leg straight. So you're pushing the inside of this straight leg down towards the floor. So you should feel the stretch down here. Okay, if not, get a little bit lower or take your legs a little bit wider. Okay, you can use this elbow if you want on the inside of there to push it out a little bit. Again, increasing the, uh, the stretch across there. And over to the other side. Pushing the inside of the straight leg towards the floor. Pushing this, uh, this knee out a little bit. Remember, you should be able to feel it. It shouldn't be too painful. But if you can't feel anything, then you need to take it a little bit wider. Back to the centre. Okay, just turn around so your back foot is on the ball of the foot. Okay, put your hands down by your front foot, keeping the back leg straight. So now you should feel across here a little bit. Okay, then you're going to drop your back knee to the ground. Put your body upright, push your hip forward. So again, you should feel the stretch here. Hold that for a few seconds. Okay, and then you're going to sit back into your back leg, front leg straight, reaching down towards your front toes. You should now feel a stretch at the back of this straight leg here. And again, just hold that for a few seconds. Back up to the center where both legs are straight. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So roll around to the other side, back foot up onto the ball of the foot. Okay. Back leg straight, hands by your front foot. Okay, just drop your back knee to the ground, pushing your hips forwards. Hands on your knee. Have your body upright. You feel that stretch here. Back onto the back leg, front leg straight, reach down towards your toes. And back to the center, both legs straight. Keeping both legs straight, put your hands on your ankles, just let your head down, go down a little bit. Try and keep your balance. And just roll up, bend both knees, pushing the elbows on the inside of the knees, just pushing it out. Keep your back as straight as possible, head up. I did try to pick a time where uh, the kids in the neighbourhood weren't yelling, but that's like impossible because it's all day, every day. So sorry about that. Okay, 
Okay, again, grab and hold the ankles and then just slowly curl up. Okay, bring your feet in, give your legs a little shake. Okay, get hold of the left leg. Keep balance. Keep your knees together, pushing your hip forwards. Stretching off the front of the thigh here. And change of the leg. Knees together, head out, back straight. So back behind this way. If you struggle with that, you can just grab the back of the dough ball from floor here. Try and grab the leg. Okay, give the legs a little shake. Okay, and a bit of stretching done. It's me, cheerio. Kanye. Okay, chummy. Step to your left into sitting stance, single punch. Tip. Okay, so check your stance, knees bent, feet facing forwards, reaction, hand back on your waist. Okay, we're gonna do this. Every time I count, no, actually, you're not gonna count, you're gonna do it for 30 seconds, you're gonna do this. Low block, other hand, middle block, other hand, rising block, other hand, low block, other hand, middle block, other hand, rising block. So you're basically going low, middle, high, low, middle, high, alternating hands, so you should change it up every time. We're going to do this for 30 seconds, just to get our upper body working. Ready? We're going to start with a low block. So you're in this position, hand out, go. Low, middle, rising, low, middle, rising. 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 Okay, try and make sure that you've got your hands crossing in the right place as well. That will fry your brain. Inside, outside, inside, and stop. Okay, so this time take your right leg back from the guarding block. Okay, we're going to do low, middle, high again, but with a front kick. So off your back leg, off your right leg, you're going to go low, middle, high, without putting the leg down, then step down. And you're going to go low, middle, high, step back and guard for 30 seconds. Remember the height of your knee determines how high your kick is. When I want to go low, I bring my knee here. When I go, I want to go middle, I bring my knee here. If I want to go high, I bring my knee high. Yeah, so get that knee up and try not to swing in between where you're hoiking it up <laughs> like that. From there, you're just adjusting your knee height every time. Here, 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 without dropping it in between. That's the challenge. So we're going to do 30 seconds with our right leg. Ready? Set up, go. Okay. Put your hands up in the guard. Good. Low, middle, high. Low, middle, high. Keep your hands up. Low, middle, high. Good. Low, middle, high. Low, middle, high, and stop. And change legs. Okay, same off the left side for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Low, middle, high. And as I my information sheet, Rajunde, Kayunde, Nupunde. Okay, so get your heights in there. Rajunde, Kayunde, Nupunde. Okay, so get that in your head. Rajunde, Kayunde. Nupunde. Yeah? That in. Low. Middle. High. Oh, that's all going wrong now. And stop. Okay, change legs again. Awesome. So this time we're going to do the same but with turning kick. Okay. Um, traditional turning kick ideally. So you're going to go low, middle, high, using the ball of your foot, remember. Okay, so only when we're sparring. Are we using the top of the foot and pointing the foot? Okay, we're on pads. But if we do this as a traditional turn and kick using at kum chi, ball of the foot. So dolly chaggy, at kum chi, low, middle, high, jinde kunde, nupunde. If you've been reading your information sheets, you already know this stuff. I could do the whole thing in Korean and you know what I was talking about. Okay, if you haven't, go read them so you do know what I'm talking about. Okay, ready? I'm going to do 30 seconds of that. Again, try not to drop your knee in between, just raise the height of the knee to get the kick in. 
Get your hands up in the guard. Whoop. Again, working at your own pace, you can do them fast, you can do them slow. Both are challenging in their own way. And stop. And change legs. So you're going to do exactly the same off your left side for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Go. So low, middle, high. Okay, make sure we can see the difference between your low, middle, and high. Okay, some of you might struggle, but I just want to see at least three heights. Okay, and we're trying to increase the height for all three kicks. Okay, you might have to start lower, uh, all three kicks. Low, middle, high, and man. Change legs again. All right, we're going to do exactly the same, but with side kick this time. So make sure that knee comes all the way around. Low, tuck the knee up. Middle, tuck the knee up. High. Okay, make sure it looks different to a turning kick though. Now remember, your turning kick is out at an angle over here. Okay, but your side kick is much more of this kind of stamping movement. Yeah, low, and tuck it up, stamp, middle. High, yeah, so we're going to do side kick, yop chaggy using bow cow. All on your information sheets. Okay, give it 30 seconds. Go. Low, middle, high. Okay, allow your base foot to turn. The higher you go, the more your base foot will turn. Time. Your own heights, but make sure there are three different ones. And stop. Change legs again. Same for the other side. Side kicks. 30 seconds. Go. Time. Okay, low, middle, high. You'll be able to see the difference. And come on, excellent work. If you want to make that a little bit harder for yourselves, um, just rewind, go back to the beginning of the front kicks and do another 30 seconds each leg for a front kick, turning kick and side kick. So you're doing it all again if you want to do it a little bit more or a little bit faster and now you've got the hang of it, um, put a little bit more into it. So up to you. If you want to make it super hard, go right back to the beginning and do this towards um, warm up again as well. Okay. Um, so today's technical is going to be looking at what is considered high section. So we've just been doing lots of high section uh, kicks and stuff. Um, so what targets are there high section? So from here to here basically. What could you hit from here to here? This is in your white book if you've got it. Okay, juniors, you're about to learn something. Okay, let's start here. Throat, okay? You just get your fingers very gently and push on your throat there. Okay, you can see how uncomfortable that would be. Side of the neck here. Okay, you've got an archery that runs down the side of the neck there. Okay, when that gets hit, that's, that can be quite painful. There are a lot of pressure points in your neck. If you just open your hands up and just squeeze, just gently squeeze, you can feel how uncomfortable that is on the muscles, etc. You know, so if you were to grab that, that's quite, that can be quite sore. Okay, so you've got neck, throat, okay, jaw point. Okay, so if I get hit here, yeah, then the jaw goes back a little bit. Jaw hinge, this bit, okay, which moves the jaw. So that's a striking point there. Okay, philtrum, or this bit here underneath your nose. <laughs> Hay fever. Okay, just underneath the nose there. Okay. Again, if you just get your fingers and just, just push slightly, or, or here, just lift slightly, you can feel the un how uncomfortable that could be, okay, so or nose, generally. Uh, you've got eyes, okay, so strike into the eyes. You've got the temple, which is this bit here. Again, if you just gently push it, you can feel how uncomfortable that is, okay, so if you would strike that with any kind of power. Uh, base of the skull here, okay, again, just give it a little push. 
can see how feel how uncomfortable that is. Okay, and then you've also got the top of the head. Okay, so if you think about all of those things, um, and then have a little think about what you would strike them with. Okay, so if I was using my fist to somewhere high section, a straight punch, think where would I hit? Okay, you could say to the throat, but if I've got my chin down, I'm not going to get that punch in there. So what would be better? Something flatter. Okay, so fingertips maybe. Okay, same with the eyes. Yeah, I can punch the eye, but it covers the entire socket. Okay, could use my fingertips again for that. Temple, you stood to that side, and maybe you could do a straight punch. Okay, but if they were straight in front of you, back fist. Okay, strike into the temple. Yeah, have a little think about what you could use on each of those target areas. So that's your technical for today. So today's challenge is a little bit different, okay? The, on the email we sent you under challenge, there'll be a button to press and that'll take you to a YouTube video. It's called Sally Up and Down Press Up Challenge. Okay, I got this idea from um, Miss Bud, who is an instructor uh, and a good friend of mine over in Essex, okay? Um, and she's been nagging me since the beginning of lockdown to do this challenge and let her know how many minutes I can do into this song. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but now I'm setting you the challenge. I'm probably gonna have to. Okay, so basically, watch the video, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a, it's a song, and every time they, you're in press-up position, every time they say up, you go up, every time they say down, you go down, and you stay in those positions until they say up or down. So if I'm already here, I have to wait for the song to say up again, and then you come up, okay, and then I have to wait for the song to say down again, and I go down. And what I want you to do is see how many minutes into the song that you can do and then let me know, post it on the Facebook page, email it to me, text it to me, whatever. Um, and I'm feeling the pressure to have to do it myself now. Go and check out the video. Uh, it's, it's all kinds of crazy. Have fun.